Okay, so we're on to the next page, but um, before, I'm going to be making a flap with this. So I want to show you what I'm doing before I put it all down. So you're going to get this cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection. So this, this one. And what you're going to do is cut out this part. So you're left with this frame and then ink the edges of the frame inside and ink all around it. So you're going to have this frame. Save this because this is so pretty and we can probably use it somewhere else. So I'm going to put that in my little basket. Then you're going to get this paper from, this is the Patterns and Solids. And what I did is I was using my frame and just going around these words. Why can't I never, ever find my, oh, there it is. Going around and trying to find something I wanted to frame. So I came up across, I wanted to frame that Santa's workshop. Santa's workshop. So I cut that part out. I just want that top part. North Pole LTD Santa's workshop and kind of get this part centered. And I'm going to be gluing that to the back of this frame. But before you do that, because there's another part to this, do not glue that yet. You're going to go to the 8x8 collection, this paper, and you're going to cut out this part that says, have a holly jolly Christmas with the Merry Christmas. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to be putting it underneath the frame so the frame makes a nice edging around that part too so it's going to be something like that and this is going to actually be a pocket we're only going to be adhering this down on three sides so this will be a pocket and then we'll be able to put some stuff in our pocket and then once all this is built, we're going to be putting it on a piece of craft card stock just to give it a little edge all the way around. So lots to do with this, but I just thought it was so pretty. Isn't that just so pretty? That is just, that by itself is just so pretty. And then you can make tags and do whatever you want. But I just thought that was so pretty. So I heard this piece on first. And I got black construction tape on me. And I kind of glued the edges with a thin bead of the art glitter glue. And then I secured it um, all the way around with the black construction tape. So that part's done. Then it's just going to be getting this centered and adhering this on the back. And that should be much easier to do. And the way I'm going to be lining this up, I found the center, obviously, of the card is this dot. This is going to be the center of the white, the lighter card that this goes straight through. Um, to right between the the P and the R of ELF approved and I'm going to use the bottom of this ELF approved as my guideline for where this is going to sit and the middle of this is right through the O so this is just going to be lined up beep, straight through here and then um, ELF approved right here I'm going to line up the edge of elf approved with here and that way it'll be all straight straight one thing just to make sure I'm sure you're not going to do this do not glue this part 
of the card to here, you'll seal off the pocket. Again, only adhere it on the edges here so you have a pocket, um, just to be sure. So there it is. I need to er erase my um, my lines, my pencil marks, but isn't that just so cute? Oh my goodness. And then we have our little tuck spot here. So uh, I'm going to be putting this on a flap, but first we had to build this. I just think that is adorable. Oh my gosh, I just love that. So I'm going to adhere it to my card like this. Now, if you are like me and you did not cut this um, back piece so it went all the way down, make sure this is your pocket, right? This is your pocket. So make sure you do not glue this onto the back of this. Just kind of go around the edge up here. It's okay if you glue it onto this back part. So just put your tape here, here, all through. You can put it all through here and then just around the corners here. So you keep your pocket open. Got it? Don't glue. Don't close your pocket up. So there's our little pocket card. Looks so pretty. Now we're let's build our page. So you're going to get out your base pocket for that we made. First thing you're going to do is cut out a piece from craft cardstock five and a half inches wide by seven inches tall. Make sure I did that right. Yes, and then you're going to score a half an inch on this end right here. And so that piece, and then you're going to cut out, we're gonna make a little side pocket, a piece that's nine inches tall by two and a half inches wide, and you're going to score a half an inch on three sides. Miter those corners and miter this part of the pocket, the top part of the pocket. And you can go ahead and burnish it and put your tape down. So put this pocket away. We're not going to do anything with it right now. So with this piece, you are going to go to the, let's see, let me pull out the paper. You're going to get this from the 8x8 eight eight collection. It's this piece. And you are going to cut out a piece that fits over this flap. So you're going to go ahead and ink the edges. I like to ink the edges of the, the craft card stock um, and the sides right here just to give it a, a, that vintage look all the way around and then you will adhere this piece down on this flap. That's going to go on the front. This is going to be centered with the middle but you're not going to put it down yet because we're going to put a piece of um, paper inside here. Now the paper that we're going to be putting inside here is going to be this. And I believe this is from, is this the Patterns and Solids? Let me, let me just check. I think this is Patterns and Solids, but it's from the, the 12 by 12. So with this piece, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece that's going to be fitting on top of the base pocket on the left hand side, we are going to be putting our pocket over here. So what you're going to do, get this in stages so I don't screw it up. Um, you are going to cut this piece, ink the edges, and it doesn't have to go all the way to the end here because it's going to be going underneath this pocket. So get that cut out. 
So then this will be adhered like this. And what we're going to do before I forget is we are going to put magnets on behind here and here and on top of the pocket. So we do not want to put our paper over the pocket and we do not want to put paper on this back side of the flap till we get our magnets in. So let's get all these pieces cut and get this inked and um, then I'll probably just slide it underneath the pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my pocket down. Remember, do the, the bottom part of the pocket first and then put your scotch tape so you don't get whatever you're inserting into the pocket hitting that lip. So I'm gonna get my pocket down. So the pocket's in, and next you're going to get your flap that you made, your uh, five and a half by seven inch tall flap. You're going to find the center on your base pa pocket page, which is four inches, and you're going to find the center of this flap, which is three and a half inches. You're going to line those up. So we have it right smack dab in the middle. And we're going to see, do I want it peeking out a little bit? No, no, no. So right smack dab in the middle. So we're going to adhere that down like this with, I'm gonna use my score tape. So do that next. So once your flap is in, burnish that. Then you can get your this piece and you can kind of size it, make sure it fits and it slides underneath into that pocket and then just get it um where you like it, make sure you have clearance for that fold edge, and then go ahead and hear the sheet down. And, tho and those of you that use tape, I just put my, my piece of designer paper in um, backwards, get it lined up, because since I use tape in here, I need to know where to stop the tape. I, I can't pull the tape once it's under here. I just draw a line there so I know I can put either my tape you know in through here and I'll be fine if you use glue and you have your wiggle room you can just slide it in but that's how I'm going to be putting tape around the edges in here and then a couple of pieces in here and just to show you how I do it everyone everyone has their own way of doing it and whatever works for you I have my score tape here that tells me where it's going to end, but I'm, I'm going to be taking this one off and I'm using my Beacons 3-1 glue. This has lots of wiggle room. I'm going to put that on there. Let's put a little bit in here. This part doesn't matter so much. So then I can slip it in here. Give me some of that wiggle room I need. Get it lined up. And once I am happy with it, I can push it down. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit like this. And that looks good. So then I can adhere this part that's down here. In the pocket. Then I just go under, pull this up, and pull out my, I just go in and pull out my score tape. So that's the way I do mine, but you do what works best for you.
Okay, so we have our, I put in the magnets on the flap and these corners. Make sure you little, leave a little edge because you do need to put your designer paper around it. Uh, and then we're going to apply their counters. Their, so let's see if I can get this to transfer. Put that down there. That, and then pull them over. And hopefully they will transfer. Yes. So I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, I got too much tape here. So I'm going to have to trim off this tape so I have an edge here. So I guess what would have been better is to have my tape in this direction when I transferred it over so it would be going up and down. And so then you probably have problems up here. Anyway, so we got our magnets in. So now we need to cover our pocket. We're going to cover our pocket. And what you're going to do is get this paper from the 8x8. Eight eight. And what I did is I cut out this side where it says holiday cheer. And I cut out two lengths of the stamps. And then you'll notice down here it has, um, I think it's, what does it say? Here comes, it was like here comes here comes Santa Claus or something. So I cut out another stamp and covered up that part to put it on top of here. So it looks like all stamps. So this one's been covered up. You can't really tell, but I covered up that. So it all looks like stamps down here. And then you have to trim this so it fits over your pocket. So it's going to go like that. So I inked my edges, I trimmed it. You can see how I, I trimmed it and up through here and down here. And then this is how I trimmed the sides. Ink the edges and that will go down here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this over my pocket. So we have our Pocket page covered. Now we're going to cover this flap, the inner side of the flap. So you're going to go back to this piece from the 8x8 and you're going to be cutting this block or this block of stamps. And so you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven stamps here. And what you will need is one, two, three, four, five, six stamps. So we're going to put just an edging. It's not going to be a pocket. It's just going to be an edging here. And then we're going to cut um, another piece of this paper to fit here. That's going to be right next to this edging, just to give it some um, continuity. You don't have to use this bright paper on this side. I just love this paper. I just love this bright color. Uh, there's other ones that you could use, but I just think it's so pretty. So I'm going to get this down. Make sure you ink the edges all the way around. And then when you do this one, you ink the edges all the, round, all the way around. So I'll be back before I put this one down just to show you how I'm going to do it. I'm also going to be putting some um, ink somewhere in, on my flap. So I, when it does peek a little bit through, I have some ink uh, showing here. So I'll be right back. So I got my uh, set of stamps down. I kind of inked in this area. And then I was looking at this. We can either use that so we have this combination of paper. Um, and I, I really like this cranberry. And I'm just thinking, is that too much cranberry? Um, 
or use the green. It really cools, tones it down a lot. And maybe that would be better because the green does go with this too. So I don't know, you guys have options. Both will look good. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think about it. That's what I'm gonna do. But you, whatever one you like, you do. So this is what I decided to do. I decided to put the green in and then I wanted to put like a little flip out. So I was, I picked this, this card. So what I was thinking is I would make a little hinge here so I just cut out, this is from the 8x8 eight eight collection. I lined it up and made it the same height. So we have the, ch the checkered pattern right here. And I'm going to adhere that on the front here. This is like 3 eighths of an inch where I scored it. So this is 3 eighths of an inch that's going to be adhered on top here like that i'm going to be inking the edges and then hopefully you can see that so i'm going to slip this under here adhere this to here ink all the edges slip this underneath this piece of paper after it's been inked and it will be something like this and I have a little bit of reveal between the stamps and the green paper too. Doo -doo. So something like that. So that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going to connect. I got my score tape here. Where's my camera? And it's going to be connecting there. And it's, it's everything's been inked. I found the center of this. So this is going to be our hinge here. And then I inked the inside of the card and I inked this. You're not gonna really be seeing this part of the card. So that's one part. So we can put that, adhere this hinge on. Before we affix it to our front flap, we are going to have a little pull ribbon, or at least I am. I'm, there's my center, three and a half inches. I'm going to put this right above the center mark. Okay, so this is what I decided to do. I put in my ribbon. It's a goal, it's just a one, is that a quarter of an inch ribbon um, or one eighth of an inch ribbon? It is a quarter of an inch ribbon, honey gold ribbon. I had two golds, so quarter of an inch ribbon. Put that just above the halfway mark there. And then I decided I'm going to make this flush with the edge here. Um, what I'm going to do is adhere it just below the magnet here. So it's going to be off center. So wherever your magnet is, just make it go just below and then adhere it there. So this score mark will be lined up with this edge. And then I will put in my, wherever my green paper, where did it go? Here it is. Put in this green paper like this. I wish I, I wish I had not made this so dark. I went in 
with my coffee espresso and now it's really dark. Um, I don't know how to lighten it up because it's, I tried to wipe it off. It does not come off. So if you do this, you don't have to go so dark. And then I'll just leave that like that. So um, whoever gets this will know this This is a flap. Open it up. Got a little journaling. Gosh, I'm not even in focus. You got a little journaling space there. I wish I had not made that so dark. Maybe I can put some washi tape or something over it. Okay, so after um, lots of messing around, this is how it looks. So what I ended up doing, and note to self next time, just use washi tape. I just got some washi tape and put that on the hinge and then re-scored it in my uh, scoreboard. And so that looks much better than that black. Um, I ended up having to push this paper all the way to this this side because um, it anyway it doesn't matter and that that's the way it looks so what I'm going to do to train this to stay down I don't mind if it pops up a little bit it doesn't matter because this is going to be a magnetic closure and we still have to put our little pocket on the front that we made we're going to be doing that um, next but what I want to do before that is get a good old heavy book and I'm going to put this over my page and I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to train that to stay down. I did not want to put a magnet and I think this will work so I'll catch you, catch you in a bit. Okay, so we have our pull tag in. We have our pocket here. We'll be making a, an insert that will go in here. Um, and we have this little flap, swing flap, with a place for journaling. I thought that was cute. And now we just need to finish the front. So. We already did this, and we have our little card that we made. Remember this little card? So what we're going to do, you can, if you like it like this, which is how I originally thought, and I still do like that. Oh, I do like that. What do you think? I just think the colors are beautiful. Oh, I love that. But if you, if you, if you want a little more pop, and it's a, it's just a tiny bit more pop, you can use this, which is the same as this card, only we're using the back side, and just make a tiny little border around this pocket piece we made and put it on here. Something like that. I need so it'd be something like that. It just adds a little bit of more pop to this piece from the the cranberry pattern behind it. Um, it doesn't interfere with it. It still looks nice. So those are some options. You can either add it or just keep it like that. So we have the first part of page one done. So we have our little pocket up front here. We have our little ribbon pull tab here. And I ended up putting that little gold border. It doesn't take away from the image, though I do. This, I just love this paper. Love, 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 love it. So that is the front. You open it up. We have our little flap here with a journaling card. 
here. And then we have our pocket here. We still need to make um, an insert that goes in here. We can do that at the end. But be beautiful paper. I just love these colors. So now we need to do the backside. 